in this video we will be looking at how we can create a combined footing using Prata structure 2022 and also how we can set the foundations levels so as to have a lap length or a starter bar just like this of length 600 uh, millimeter a starter bar like this of length 600 millimeter this is a combined footing so at first we'll be looking at the uh, settings before we now come into you know creating and designing a combined footing just like this in this lesson you are very welcome i'm so reason don't forget to like and subscribe let us get started i will close this right away so this is the combined footing we'll be you know looking at in Prota Structure 2022, I want to first go over to settings so that I can set the foundation levels the way I just explained. So I'll click on this story right there, or I can pass through this uh, building set out and then I come to this provision where I have stories. Then I click in these provisions, I will come to edit stories right in these provisions. Okay, so in the edit story dialog, this one, if you check very well, you will notice that and story one is uh, 600. Okay. This is the 600 of the starter bar. So I normally set 600 first, okay? This 500 comes in if I am designing a one story building, 500 plus 500, uh, what than five plus? 1,500 plus 1,500 gives us 300, which is the height of a, a normal story from the normal floor level of the building, all right? So uh, this uh, two gives us a, uh, three meters all right so this is the story bottom level you can see over here we have first story bottom level okay it's zero i set it here to be zero then i key in here to be 600 just to make it a uh, story one over here i wouldn't want it to be you know combined with the foundation that's why i set it to be zero here then for the foundation date is 1100 because for the for the purpose of this structure it's just a story a story building all right a story building so from this 1500 and this 1500 from uh, the first floor okay then 3000 millimeters is to the uh, you know roof, roof level or the roof beam uh, level all right so this is how the setting is being done all right so let's go and then uh you know design the combined footings right away i click on the okay options right there okay click on the yes options okay for, so for the combined footings right there we we'll have to select these two columns okay these are circular columns of diameter 225 by 225 all right so i uh, let's proceed so i will select and do a sheet over the two columns just like this right click and then i'll click on the uh insert uh, insert combined part footings these options right here click it once and give the progress of seconds to you know boot up and calculate the uh, part uh, footings reinforcement design just like this okay so the design is done successfully all right so if i should go to the 3d tab right there and then this is the 3d of it like the plant of the 3d just like this okay so this is the first column this one is the second column so if i uh, click i and i click hold and then I move my hand i will have it in a you know a asymmetric view just like this so this distance from the end of this uh, rebar to where the uh to where the stirrup stops is the starter bar all right that will receive the other reinforcement that takes the columns to the first floor or the first floor slab all right so this is how the setting is being done and also for the you know uh double reinforced footings if you want to do that you just have to click in this rebar provisions and check this this one all right it will be updated so you can see the double reinforced footing is updated already i click there again to get that updated successfully just like this so this is a double reinforced footing uh but you have to also check the design if the design is okay so the design is quite very okay and so there is no need for double reinforced footing because if double reinforced protein is being used here, it is a waste of materials, all right, and then resources as well as effort, all right. So for that purpose, you have to remove these, uh, uh, you know, top bars, okay, so as to get 
right of the double reinforcement footings to have a single reinforce uh, footings just like this you click on design to check the design if it actually passes okay you can see all the shear check and the critical control distance uh, punching everything has passed the design successfully just like this all right so this is so having checked everything and then seeing that everything has passed the design successfully what you just need to do you can just click on the ok options so once you click on the ok options you see the footings is being placed uh, successfully mind you this column is a slender column that connect the foundations and the roof beam all right these two columns in front of here connect the foundations and the roof beam okay so this uh, how it, it being done successfully the lesson for uh this moment all right and uh, we'll see in the next lesson more advanced lesson of this kind you have to do well to like the lesson subscribe and stay tuned i am so prison. Bye for now.